All right, here we have the Vivor Ultrasonic Cleaner. So just got this thing, just took it out of the box. I know a lot of unboxing videos are kind of boring, so save you guys that part. It just came out of the wrapper and I just started filling it with water. So this thing's pretty cool. I don't know how it works, never used one of these. So this will be a true honest test for both of us. So on the left-hand side, we've got our heater. So this is our temperature. On our right is our timer. I think some people put solvents and different stuff in here, but I'm just gonna try it straight up with water and see what happens. Here's our drain valve and it comes with a little hose. It also comes with this basket right here that you can hold parts in. And I think it's almost got like this little like detergent pod or something that you can hang off of it. So like I said, we're just gonna run it with water. It almost looks like a uh, little food tray kind of situation here, but it's got our power cord. So I got that plugged in. I'm gonna fill it up with water and then our power switch is on the back. So let me fill it up with water and we'll see. This thing is pretty dirty. So I wanna see how throwing something pretty substantial in here is going to do. And uh, we'll see how it works. Like I said, I'm just winging it. We'll see what happens. All right, so change of plans. I'm actually gonna put this cam cover in here just cause I'm not too sure how it's gonna react with the water pump. So this is just a big hunk of metal. It doesn't quite fit in here, but I just wanna see what it's gonna do at least with the submerged half. So let's go ahead and uh, start it up. I am going to try it. It seems like it already is agitating it, but this thing makes a crazy noise too. I almost wanna not be in the same room while it's making its uh, cleaning action, but let's see what she does. All right, so I actually let this thing heat up and I've got this thing just about cranked and the water is actually getting pretty warm. So you can already see it's like breaking down some stuff. So let's go ahead and hit the button, but I'm guessing you're gonna be able to see some action. Oh yeah. I don't know if it's just me, but the noise that comes off of this is very annoying. So I would recommend running away. I don't know if I could bear this noise, but some people might not even hear it. But look at all that cloudiness coming out. It's definitely doing something. So I'm gonna set the timer for 30 minutes. Let's see what she does. All right, so it's been 30 minutes. This will actually turn off when it thinks it's hit the correct temperature. So you can see the red lights off. If I turn it up a bit more. So this water is 56 degrees-ish Celsius, whatever that equates to in Fahrenheit. But let's see, this thing is hot. Let's see how this looks. Let's check it out. All right, so it seems fairly clean, you guys. I don't know how many cycles and how long you'd want to put this in here, but there's a little bit more heavy deposits right there that, uh, as you can see there, I might need to give a scrub or see if I can dislodge those. But, I don't know, overall, like you can see up here, the dirtiness, I think if I get it on its uh, side with some better light, we might be able to see exactly the difference. Here's on the back side, you guys, so you can see here where the water line kind of came up to. So down here is all clean, and then up here you can see it's a little more yellowy, and it's still got some junk around there, which seems to have dislodged most of it on the lower portion. So, definitely works. I mean, and I didn't put any solvent stuff in it, so it'll probably work even better if we chose to put some of that. But let me uh, see if I can maybe agitate that, and I might throw it back in there, and maybe I'll, here, this is the before on the top. I wanna throw this top portion in as well and see what it does on this stuff. All right, so there was 30 minutes on the top portion, so let's pull the whole thing out and see how she looks. The water is definitely murky looking. All right, so I think it definitely cleaned it up, you guys. This had a little bit of discoloration before just cause, uh, came out of a vehicle that had a fire, but overall I think it worked really well. So so now as far as draining it, I'm gonna end up using it for some other parts since the water is, as you can see, it's hot. It is really hot, you guys, it is steaming. So you can hook this up, the supply drain, and then drain it as well. So overall, I think this thing works awesome for the price. So I will link down in the description where you guys can pick yourself up one of these, go check it out. I think it's a great investment. If you guys are a gearhead, cleaning things, or anything else you wanna throw in there, and uh, I'm gonna definitely put this thing to you. So thanks for watching, see you guys on the next video.